But first, with the administration under fire over the latest batch of classified documents found at President Biden's home, what he needs is someone who can explain their side of the story, who can defend the president, maybe without providing too much detail. You know, what a good press secretary should be able to do. And that is something that President Biden does not have. Once again, White House Press Secretary Corinne Jean-Pierre is showing that she appears to be in way over her head as the face of the White House communications operation. Her eight-month-long tenure has been filled with gaffes, misstatements, awkward spin, and once again today, she looked to be completely out of her depth at the White House podium. Now, granted, any spokesperson would have had trouble handling the onslaught from the press corps over the past week. And it's not her fault that she's limited in what she can say. But John Pierre has made a bad predicament infinitely worse with wordy non-answers, coupled with an insistence that she's being totally transparent. Today, the White House correspondents wanted to know why Jean Pierre, during her briefing last Friday, didn't disclose that the president's aides found five additional pages of classified documents at his Delaware residence on Thursday. Now, listen to this bizarre exchange with ABC's Cecilia Vega in which Jean-Pierre twists herself in knots to avoid answering a very simple question. Uh, on Friday, you stood here, though, and were asked about this documents issued by our counsel 18 times. At that point, the president's lawyers had found these five additional pages of classified documents. So did you not know on Friday that those documents had been found when you were at the podium? Or are you being directed by someone to not be forthcoming on this issue? I'm, I have been forthcoming from this podium. What I uh, said yes to was what the statement at the time that we all had. Right, you all had the statement, uh, and I was repeating what the what the uh, council was sharing at that time. Right, and had, so we had that statement, so we knew what was in it. But you also exactly. knew. Did you not know that? The I'm telling you, I just answered the question. I just said that I was repeating what the information that we had at that time, right? That you all had. I was confirming from what the special counsel had provided to all of you, and that we knew as well from here. So just to be very, very clear. Okay, very, very clear. The question couldn't be more direct. Did you know about the documents on Friday? Yes or no? The easy answer was no. I wasn't made aware. Instead, she spent almost a minute talking in circles while insisting she was being very, very clear. Jean-Pierre spent another 20 minutes fielding numerous additional questions about the documents before a CBS reporter took another shot at trying to get what should have been a simple answer. On Friday, did you or did you not know about the additional five I, I already, pages? I literally just answered that question. But I, I, I missed just, it, so is it yes or well, no? Well, I, I mean, you're, you're not too far sitting next to her, so I was very clear. I provided, I provided the information that you all had at the time. Did you know? and I confirmed. No, I did not know. I'm saying I had the information. I actually said this to Cecilia. I had the information that you all had at the time, right? Finally, she said it. No. Wasn't that hard? It took 25 minutes to get to know. And that's my point about Corinne Jean-Pierre. Yes, she's dealing with a lousy set of facts right now on an inconvenient story. But it would be a lot easier for her if she would just give straight, clear answers. Instead, her penchant for taking the Magellan route gets her in hot water time and again. And it leaves the press corps questioning her credibility. Last week, by the way, was arguably worse when ABC's Mary Bruce asked another simple question about where in Biden's residence the documents were found. The White House counsel's uh, statement this morning said that documents were found in the president's Wilmington residence garage and in an adjacent room. But when the president mentioned this himself in person earlier, he said they were found in storage areas and in his personal library. So can you just clear this up? Which room, where were the documents actually found in his residence? Okay, so let me just step back because I know all of you will have a lot of questions. Uh, so I'll lay this out very clearly uh, and precisely. I don't want, clearly want to make sure no one is confused. As you just said, Mary, as soon as the president's lawyers found these documents, they immediately contacted archives and Department of Justice, as I've said many times already, to ensure that they were handled properly. The president has said this. We are being fully cooperative with the Department of Justice throughout this process as part of the president's lawyers look through the places where documents could have been stored and the counsel's office release, as you said, a statement explaining that. So I would refer you back to the statement. I don't have anything more to say, but that search was completed last night. And now this is in the hands of the Justice Department. I can't answer that question. I don't have more information at this time. 
would have been a far better and more concise answer in her effort to be clear and precise and to make sure no one is confused. Why can't they, why won't they, just let her go become an analyst at MSNBC again? Joining us now is Keith Edwards, Democratic communications strategist who's worked with Senator John Ossoff and on Nikki Fried's campaign for governor in Florida. Thanks so much for coming on the show. Appreciate it. Thank you for having me. Time for her to go? Absolutely not. I think she's fantastic at her job. I, I do mean, you really? As, well, yeah, I do. I think, I mean... I mean, you think she's really... Do you think she's fantastic at her I job? think she's doing an amazing job considering the set of circumstances, especially, I mean, you went through it so easily. There's only so much she can say. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your cable provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.